Hey guys, um, I'm going to go over the smart mesh and how to set it up um, for photos in this in this instance. But um, you can use it also on vector layers and um, and use it with smart bones and all sorts of cool stuff. So it's very similar to the um, to the puppet tool in After Effects, but um, you have a lot more control over the mesh placement which is so much more useful than than i think uh even after effects is um so what i'm doing is i'm just putting a rough um spline around where i want the face to be um controlled and that's basically the basics of it now i go to draw triangulate 2d mesh you see it creates lines and shapes um and these points and shapes are what are now going to be changing this monkey. As soon as I go in here and go to image and then smart mesh warp layer, smart warp layer, um, any layer that has been triangulated will show up in this uh, drop down. So I select the one that I've just created. And that's basically it. Um, you'll notice that as a cool little side effect where the outer shape is gets masked and that you can use that to put holes in shapes um, you may still want to because you can't really soften the edges you might want to still prepare your files in Photoshop but um, for quick and dirty stuff this is really useful and now what you can see is if I if I move any of these points it will warp the image based on those movements um, so in this case, it's not very useful. I've made a very strange looking monkey, but um, it's just keyframed point movement. So that can be assigned to to uh, smart bone um, as you normally would. Now, what I want to do is I want to redo this. I'm going to just delete these lines as I would any other line. Um, and then you need to make sure that you get them all or otherwise um, it has some problems in triangulating but what I'm going to do is so I've brought brought it back to where I was and now I want to open and close the mouth so I'm going to put this over the top lip I'm going to put another one over the bottom lip and if I was to do it now well, let's do it. If I go to triangulate, and then now I've got this little bit of denser mesh around the mouth. And if I go over here and move these points up, I can move, I can change the mouth. But you see how it's affecting the rest of the face as well. So if I, it's not bad, but it's see it's done all this to the to the eyes and the and the chin and everything. So what we're going to do is undo that, go back to here on frame zero and um, add a few more lines so what I'm going to do is add a few lines here here I'll put one across here so that the lip movement doesn't affect anything outside of that so it's only affecting the area that is attached to it and anything further than that um, won't be affected so if I want to blink, I'll do the same here. Do that. And then do that there. I can close this shape actually. Let's see what happens if I do that. And then I'll add some lines around here where I don't want that to affect that anymore. So now if I triangulate again. Um, you'll notice that the mesh is just a lot denser around the eyes, a lot denser around the mouth, and you can keep doing this, adding more and more detail if you want it really, really detailed. Um, and now what we can do is close the mouth. You see that it doesn't really affect anything below here. And I'll also make him blink. No, I didn't put enough points there, but so now you see that his eyes 
can be blinked and his mouth can be moved and you can go through and and change the density of all this stuff now you might notice that these shapes some, now I can see the teeth where it's overlapping and you can control the overlap by changing the layer order of particular triangles so in the same way as you change layer order um, for other reasons in in anime well ooh, almost said it <laughs> in moho 12 um, you can um, change the order um, the shape order so that um, these shapes will appear above or below each other when they're overlapping um, so you can you can move these in any way that you can any other um, points you can I'm not I won't show you now because the video will get long but you can just put um, well in fact let me just do it now quickly can't help myself if I put a bone layer in and it's over here and I the the bone so the 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 mesh and the, its target need to be at the same level so if I put one under a bone I need to put the other thing under a bone as well um, and if I just put I'll put some I'll put some of these so I've just put some pin bones in here and now if I move the pin bone It's just that they have a lot more effect than the other the other movements but you can still do the same stuff that you could do before um, that I showed in the pin bone video so you can you can um, do a scale and that's got quite a cool sort of 3d effect as it comes towards you and the mouth opens that's pretty cool um, or you can rotate it with the alt key so you can do some really cool funky stuff um, all of these can be controlled by smart bones um, and all of this stuff can be done to vector layers as well as image layers um, but I will leave it there that was just a little bonus for you and um, hope you like it and uh, let me know if you have any questions cheers <laughs>